from Death Like Reviews. Um, to talk about one of my favorite subgenres tonight. Oh, sorry, change camera angle. That's slightly better, hopefully. Um, I'm going to talk about some black metal tonight, which is by far the best. Uh, while well, not listening to black metal, uh, any of you that aren't familiar with this album should check it out, and I don't know why you're not familiar with it. This is uh, Human by Death. We were listening to the double CD, uh, CD slipcase edition. I just took the slipcase off because it's annoying. Um, so we're going to be talking about some black metal. At, um, music from all three formats to talk about tonight. So uh, I don't know where I'm going to start. Sorry, I'm drinking some very metal soda water berry flavor. Uh, let, let's start with the annoying vinyl first. I hate showing the vinyl. Uh, this is Bathory's first album. This is a the Back on Black reissue. It's not an original. Those are insanely hard to find, as everyone knows. This is well, this was my introduction to black metal. Uh, songs like Hades or In Conspiracy with Satan or something were just so awesome. Of course, the recording quality sucks, but that's what you come to expect with black metal. Uh, oh crap. Inserts coming out. Standard black vinyl. Nothing exciting. When I bought this set, it did not come with an insert, which was a lie. Got a lyric sheet there. Uh, this is just stellar. This is awesome. Very glad to have this, even though it's a reissue. Um, yeah. Bad Free, first album, self-titled, amazing. Uh, next up, I think I already showed this in a, another video, Mayhem, Death Crush EP. This was my intro to Mayhem, and the, wow, this is just so good. Uh, classic lineup, Maniac, Bush, Necker Butcher, uh, and Euronymous and Manaheim. This is stellar, still don't like that picture. <laughs> uh, Scott Burns, that's the death, death metal stuff. Insert with the lyrics on it. Um, purple vinyl. Obviously, this is not the four thousand dollar original copy. That it, I would love to have one of those. That will probably never happen though. Uh, yeah, man, Steph Crush. Also, the artwork is just awesome. It's iconic. Same with uh, same with the goat on the bathroom album. This is iconic, iconic artwork. Both great albums that if you like black metal at all, you should definitely have, or at least have listened to it at some point in your life. Um, let's see, do we do, I got a couple of cassettes here. Uh, let's just do those. Vlad Tepes with the La Muerta Luna. This is on a dub cassette, but that's an original pressing. I am 100% sure of that. Quicker the band on the J card. Track listening. That album art is super cool. Uh, Blood Tepes, it's not easy listening. I and mean, there's some black metal that's very easy to listen to and very easy to like. Like, Cradle of Filth, too, I don't like at all. But um, besides, it, Vlad Tepes is very hard to listen to, even for an experienced black metal listener. This. There is not a shred of production on this album at all. It's literally someone placed a recorder in the middle of their demo room and they uh, recorded that. It's super good though, once you get past that. Can't recommend this enough. It's super good stuff. Excuse me. Uh, next up, I got a Vlad Tepes demo here. Uh, the return of the Uprising, I think. Crap, in case it just fell apart. And that said, I think this one might be dead, though. I'm not sure. Um, it certainly, it certainly feels dumb because the Jake Hart this album is printer paper. I right, so those are horrible band. That's a band photo that I can't. No, I don't know if you can see the guy on there. I don't know. Oh, there he is. There's another guy. His head's right there. He's blowing fire. In the dark. 
Yeah, if I tap this the demo, um, this is sick pretty much. There's, this is actually the recording quality, but this is worse. It, it's horrible. Once you get, once you you can get past that and train your black metal ear, uh, this is awesome work. My hair's annoying. <laughs> Probably get it cut. Mm, yeah, right. Not happening. Um, last up, we got some CDs here. I could probably blow through these quick, but I'm going to try not to because I like talking about music. And I know you guys listen like listening to me talk. Well, some of you do. First up, we have an Australian band, Destroyer 666, with uh, Wildfire. This is their 2016 release on Season of Mist. I'm not a huge fan of uh, this album. As a matter of fact, I like earlier Destroyer 666 stuff. This is, it's it's what you'd expect from them. It's their brand of black and fresh, and it, it's fine. You get some cool pictures in there. Um, overall, it's kind of a meh. I mean, song to, the first song is really great, and then after that, everything just kind of, to me, seems to meld together. Uh, I don't really know too much about uh, The Starter 666. If anyone wants to tell me if I'm listening to the wrong album, uh, please let me know. I would really like to be into this band more, but I, I just can't with this album. It gets boring. Uh, so, yeah. Next up is an album that is very different from the rest of this man's career. That would be, of course, Abbott with the, uh, his self-titled release. Crap, crap CD. Very good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, white CD. Um, this is this is awesome, awesome black metal. I don't even know if you consider this black metal because it's there is so so different uh, than the black than the. Stuff we're all familiar with from uh, Immortal. I love that picture of him on the back. That for any of that don't know, Abbott is the jokester of black metal. The dude's hilarious. He got a great lineup. He's got King of Hell from uh, Gorgoroth on guitar. Oh, uh, sorry, bass. Because he, he Abbott plays guitar. He's got Creature on drums. And my. It, there's just so many I can't find a bad thing to say about this album it's the perfect length it's not boring ever um sorry about that my mic just fell that's probably real loud for you headphone listeners uh Ocean of Wounds is so good Root some of this parts um, some of the parts in this almost sound motorhead-ish like uh, Root of the Mountain this is yeah, this is just a really good listen. I'm excited to see what comes in the follow-up that he just teased on Facebook. Next up is an album that's rather new to my collection. We got the Sons of Balor with, I still can't pronounce that, uh, Tenebris Dales, I think. Uh, also Season of Mist. This uh, is, a, they're a British black metal band that, actually it's not just straight black metal, it's more black thrash. Than anything, so I can get that booklet out. There you go. Um, I can't show that page. It's the super cool comic book artwork. Uh, there's a couple of songs on here that are just straight thrash metal bangers. It's awesome. Love this super gory artwork as well. It's there's nothing bad about this. It's it's a fun listen. Why well, another badass picture there? Uh, this is a super fun listen. Uh, I highly recommend this to anyone that likes a black thrash kind of thing, kind of like an art noir, but except better produced. Um, uh, yeah. Up next, uh, we're going to Norway with uh. Suter, uh, Kill for Satan. I think I just talked about this album a couple videos ago, but uh, 
there's not much new to say about it. It's, it's, it's super awesome, raw, better produced black metal than most of the Norwegian stuff that came out at this time. But it's super, super stripped down. It's fun. It's a great listen. And there's nothing bad to say about any of this stuff. Except for maybe one album here. <laughs> except, except for the Destroyer 666. And favorite song on this album is Lords of Terror. Or, uh, the title track, Kill for Satan, is super awesome and catchy. This it, is a fun album. Black Metal could be your favorite genre. If it's not, I don't know why you're watching this video at all. Um, this is kind of straight from Black Metal. I showed this in my first video. Uh, this is Dark Throne with FOAD. Uh, this album, it's fun, punky, punky black metal, kind of, because there's, I mean, it's dark then, there's still some, there's still some elements of black metal in them, uh, it may not be straightforward black metal, like, uh, Under a Funeral Moon or any, or their earlier stuff, but this is super good. Dark Throne and uh, Fenris himself has said it. They've become a, more of a tribute band. They do what all of their favorite bands do. They play uh, what influenced them. Uh, coming to our last CD here, that is a uh, that section with Rain Chaos. This is a uh, 2006. Again, people don't really care for this album. I don't know why, but you, you sit down and you give it a listen. It's super, super good. Uh, Next level songwriting and guitar work by John Noizuki. Uh, song, for those of you who don't know, is uh, this album is all about anti-cosmic Satanism. And it's obvious if you know what, like, song titles like Nexian 218 it refers to uh, Temple of Black Light. Um, or just, this is a fun listen all the way through. There's not a bad song on this album. Uh... People don't like it. I don't know why. Again, I don't know if that's hand numbered. Please, if anyone else has a copy of this, let me know if that if that's hand numbered or not. Uh, this is just super, super good. Um, anyway, I don't know if I'll have another video out uh, 